Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. John here on the Sky One Videos uh, channel. So uh, today I'm getting my last free oil change. I got um, four free oil changes for two years. I've already, I, I got them done early, you know, especially when the car was new. Uh, so this is gonna be my fourth one. I've only had the car just a little bit over a year. Be strong. Be strong. shut down that channel I downloaded them and uh, back then YouTube didn't allow, allow for high resolution so they're kind of not that good <laughs> I mean they probably look okay on a phone but uh, definitely not on a PC or on a on a oh, look at this oh, I see this guy around once in a while um, but it's not gonna look good on um, on your television or a PC so I don't know if I'm even gonna put them up I also thought about taking some tidbits. I don't know if you guys have gone back to some of my older videos or whatever, and I got like a zillion videos in there. Um, but I thought about grabbing some highlights out of each one, and uh, then using uh, YouTube's cards, you'd be able to, I'll do the highlight and then a card, and you can click on it and uh, see that video. Um, so I thought about doing that. I'm not sure. Uh, I actually had a big event to, uh, videotape last weekend but I ended up not going um, we um, our local car group was gonna meet up with a bunch of other groups and uh, we had a huge meet over in Wilmington and then we had uh, from four o'clock on we had this drag strip uh, five dollars all, all you want to run so it looked like, you know, a really good time. But uh, I had to prepare for moving and stuff, so I was helping out, um, getting a lot of things purged. Also thought about doing some giveaways. Now, do giveaways have to be new products? I mean, if it's something decent, do you care if it's new or, or used? I got stuff that I'm gonna get rid of. I'm either gonna put it on eBay or I'm gonna donate it or whatever. Nothing wrong with it, I just don't use it. I'm gonna go through that whole thing like if you haven't touched it in a number of years it's got to go uh, not that we're gonna be minimalists or whatever but I want to get rid of some stuff you know like I don't know radio I got radios I got um, what else do I got? I don't know I got all sorts of crap I've got like boxes of stuff when I'm just done playing with it I just throw it in this box so let me know if that sounds interesting to you and I'm not sure how to do giveaways and stuff um, I might just like on each video show some <laughs> if you want it let me know one of those type of things um, so yeah and um, some of those older videos it was uh, I had a metal detecting chin I did uh, a lot of metal detecting and I videotaped uh, me metal detecting and my finds and stuff and I could I never even paid attention on how many subscribers I got. I just, I just uploaded it for fun. And I got this email from YouTube, do you want to be monetized and everything else? And I looked and I had like 
thousands of subscribers. I mean, more than I have now. And I, I don't know why. I don't know what's so interesting about watching somebody metal detect, but um, I did that. It was a good hobby. I did that for a number of years, and um, I still have one metal detector and all the stuff that goes along with it. I thought it would be kind of fun to go metal detecting and uh, see what I can find. I haven't done it in a long time. Sure could use the exercise in uh, fresh air. Now's actually a pretty good time. It's not too hot or whatever. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Um, let's see. So, uh, oh, I went to a, I went to a, um, a car parade. I don't know. I just saw it. I go, oh, this would be kind of fun. And it was turned out it was a it was a Trump parade, <laughs> and uh, I was just like, hey, I'll go, you know. And uh, man, I had I had like the best time. I think it was like two miles long. I didn't really dress up my car, but um, other people had like their trucks with flags and everything, and uh, it was really cool. The <laughs> people giving you the finger and stuff, <laughs> but most people were giving thumbs up and giving a lot of honks. So. I don't know. From what I've seen, I think it's going to be a tight race. So anyway, I'm at the dealership here. Now, um, you know what's interesting? I thought like with the economy and stuff, they weren't selling cars. They said they're selling cars like crazy. So I don't know what the deal is. Oh, that's my... Oh, I can't. This guy's just going to walk in the road here. I can't go either way. So, Wi-Fi disabled. Yeah, that's the new thing, new message I get from that thing. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some cars that they got here, and uh, oh, look at this purple one. Twenty-six. Don't say RT on there. I ain't paying no twenty-six for grand for a six-cylinder. All right, so uh, we're here. Hang on, such a. I am such an idiot. I thought it was my appointment was at one o'clock. It's at two o'clock. I love black. That looks so good. See, like this, the white one, like mine. Compare. I mean, I like the I like the black. You tint the windows and stuff. The problem is keep. See, the problem is keeping it looking nice. So you go with the meteor gray like that, and I love that. You know, I almost bought a Hellcat that was that gray color, and. uh it was a stick. I wanted auto just because I wanted the remote start. But, uh, you know, I go, I look back at it now. I think I should, it wasn't a wide body, but uh, I should have got that car. Let me see, I could have got it at 46. It was a 2017. Or was it 18? I don't know, man, but it only had like. Uh, it have for miles on it, 5,000 miles on it. It was really low miles, mint condition. Yeah, I might have should have gotten that. But I do like this wide body. But like when I'm in the mountains and stuff, you know. And I was really worried about the handling characteristics of these things because I had a an old RT, a 2010 RT, and I didn't like the way that car handled. I had a hard time keeping up with. I had a hard time keeping up with like regular cars on the back roads. So, this one I'll give you your I'll give you I'll give a BMW a run for the money in the back roads. Okay. Alright, let me get out. So we'll come back in an hour. Look at this. I don't understand why they do this. The truck is sorta of passing but not passing. You're just gonna hang out in the left lane. Now I'm coming up to my exit. You know, just this guy next to me is going to get pissed off. Yeah, I don't know. We call them left lane campers. So, like, they're going 65, right? The speed limit here is 70. Everyone likes to go 80. Left lane campus. Let's see how good this car can accelerate here with these new tires on. Well, I'm holding a GoPro in one hand. 
normally don't floor it here, but give it some gas here. I like that these tires don't just light up. Um, the the um, Pirellis would just spin up real easy. This thing can grab. I mean, if I tromp on it from the start, these will spin, but if I at least just start moving a little bit and then tromp on it, she'll just grab. The car squats back pretty good. All right, so I'll be home in a minute. All right, taking my car in for service. No dead stings. Dirty, but so I'm in the showroom here. They got a car that looks just like mine in the showroom. So if you like my car, okay, this is a 2020, I think, and it's got a stick on it. So my mistake i bought a automatic you get a wide body get a stick i should have gotten a stick i had a stick on the last one i had an issue with it but uh i miss it so much you're actually driving the car i'm over at leith dodge wendell wearing a mask so if i sound muffled but this is a beautiful car okay the sticker Fifty-five or so. Missing something. Mine has. I'm not sure. But he's got those red calipers, which is really nice. And it looks like the rims are different. They went with the black. Mine aren't black. So they also have this here. And this is a red eye, I think. Eighty-eight thousand. Yeah. This is triple nickel. I like triple nickel. Again, they want the black ones. Hey. You know we got this triple nickel sitting right here. I, I mean, does he, does he want a, a real one or does he want something something? Might have this one sold already. Here's another one looks here. I like this meteor gray. And I don't know, I, I still kind of like these hoods. But there's another one that's like mine, the white. I wonder if this is automatic. Fifty-two. So this was less when it's automatic. Oh, houndstooth. Yeah. Nothing wrong with cloth interior. I just don't care for the pattern of houndstooth. I like that gray. That looks really sharp right there. It's probably this built the same way. This is fifty-two also. Fifty-three. Automatic. Look at that thing sparkle. Twenty twenty. He's got a black one here. Another black one here. You know, again with red calipers. That one half. This is black. Fifty-five. Yeah, this one's a stick. Oh, this would be fun, huh? Black wide body stick with sunroof. Alcantara interior. Again, see now, here I, I like that they went with the black rims. It looks pretty good. Definitely got to tint this up. Yeah. Looks good. Safety and comfort of our customers has always been our number one priority. We've added more time every day to clean.
Fucking gas all down here. Glass in the ground. This place is fucking nasty. And you don't get a receipt. I asked for a receipt and I didn't get a receipt either. This place sucks. It was nasty. Guys, uh, so I found out at the dealership that I got one more oil change left on that plan. I asked them to give me a quote on uh, renewing it. Ooh, sorry. Ooh, it's really bright over here. I'll stand over here. <laughs> so I asked him uh, how much it would be to renew it for a couple more years. And uh, he said, we'll worry about that after your next oil change. So that's pretty good. Um, you know, these cars take that special pens oil, some sort of certification or whatever. They weren't really sticklers on whether you use that oil or not. But it's what they recommended, so I'll just go with that. Um, I asked them things about brakes. We talked about the MDF. We talked about the um, the five sevens having that cam issue, so that's been resolved. Um, so, because we were talking about different vehicles and things like that. So anyway, um, but had a nice chat with him and the uh, in the mechanic. I found out I have some subscribers over there too, so I want to. Shout out to you guys over at Leith Dodge over in Wendell. I appreciate it. But anyway, um, um, yeah, they got that triple nickel uh, Hellcat. You know, I don't know. Scat Pack's good enough for me, but uh, if you really want some uh, some horsepower, those things are amazing. All right, so uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, put some comments in there. I like the I like the feedback I get from you guys. Um, and let me know if you don't mind. I'm gonna put one video up showing me metal detecting it's an older one but i gotta get the masters so that i can redo them and render them so they'll be a little bit higher quality all right thanks for watching have a great day bye it goes